Good afternoon, everyone. Today we'll be talking about Epicor Data Discovery. Epicor Data Discovery, or EDD for short, is a newer option that Epicor now offers for more easily getting dashboards and tiles at your fingertips and publishing them for others to use. I will review some topics within EDD, but there are many more items to explore at your on your own later. Be sure that and aware that your IT administrator needs to have installed the Epicor Data Discovery software before you can log in. And I think it started in 10.2.100 and later. These are the general topics listing what I will cover today. The following slides will give more detail about each individual topic. I will be covering these topics confirming that your Epicor Data Discovery software is set up, Epicor homepage offerings out of the box, logging into Epicor to use the active homepage, a general overview once you are logged in, add a new tile to your homepage, examples of each of the out of the box homepages, and verifying that your account can log into Epicor Data Discovery, and review business activity queries that are available to you and then creating a simple dashboard view. These topics will help everyone to get, a, get to know a little about Epicor data discovery today. I'm showing the options in Epicor version 10.2.300 to confirm that your Epicor data discovery software is set up. You'll need to verify that your IT department already set up Epicor Data Discovery. Ask them to check, or if you have permissions, you can check, within the Administration Council. Select your Server Management node, then expand the server and select the Epicor environment that you want to check, for example, E10 Train. Then right-click or choose from the right panel the option that says application server configuration. Be sure not to make any changes here, we're just going to look. Then choose the extension tab and the data discovery sub tab. Toward the bottom you should see the green installed button and the URL should work to bring you to the Epicor data discovery design area if your account has permissions. Epicor offers the four homepage options out of the box based on your security rights and if someone has published these layouts for you. Here you can see the four out of the box options offered. The executive, finance, manufacturing, and supply chain. All are with parentheses system layout which means they're delivered by Epicor out of the box. Security for these homepage layouts will be found in menu maintenance in the processes area. There is a home page section which has these four items listed. Then logging into Epicor to use your active home page. You will use your normal shortcut to Epicor but check the box for active home page in order to use the active home page functionality. Check the box for classic style to have a view similar to Vantage 8 or Epicor 9. Do not check either box if you want the modern home page with larger tiles. This slide shows a general overview once you're logged in. This overview is from 10.2.300 but will be a little different for other versions. This is the default overview for the Epicor system user. Notice on the top right you can search change logins, use knowledge on demand, help, and other actions. On the top left, you can choose a home page layout. On the far left are your menu items, favorites, recent items, and a launch to Epicor data discovery. The large tiles in the body of the page are application widgets and will open application menu items. Within Epicor logged into the active home page you can click the edit button in the upper right corner. Epicor will ask you to create a clone if you are working with a system home page 
Once a clone is created, you can add any widget, which were previously called tiles, to your home page. So you can choose home pages and add widgets within the Epicor application as long as you have the permissions for home pages and or widgets. This page shows an example of each of the different types of widgets. There's an application widget, a BAQ grid, this is the application widget, this is the BAQ grid, a discovery chart, a discovery KPI, just an image, a local application, and just a text label, and then a website. Here is the out-of-the-box example of the executive homepage layout. Of course, since the data is somewhat old in Epicor Train, there are no results in some of the areas. Notice there is only one tab beneath the executive homepage that says Revenue and Orders. Here's the out-of-the-box example for the finance lay homepage layout. <clears throat> Here only the gross margin for one year results are not found. And notice there are two tabs under the finance home page layout, one for accounts receivable and one for accounts payable. Here's the out of the box example for the manufacturing home page. The clean versus occurrence area shows no results found. Notice there are four tabs, one for manufacturing, one for inventory, one for labor, and one for shipping. And here is the out of the box example for the supply chain home page. Again, since the data is somewhat old in Epicor Train, there are no results in some of the areas. Notice there are three tabs, one for sales orders and quotes, one for shipments and returns, and one for purchasing and inventory. Now to actually design your home pages or views, you need permissions and you need to be able to log into the Epicor data discovery site. You can use a URL or click the last button on the left from within Epicor application. Your Epicor data discovery site will be similar to what is shown here, http colon forward slash forward slash your server name and forward slash your EDD site name. You may get a message about the site not being secure, but if it's on a server that you know is secure, like one of your local servers, then you can click more information and keep clicking until you get the login screen. You will log in with your usual credentials for Epicor, your Epicor username and password. Once you are logged in, you will see your design area. So once you're logged into the Epicor data discover URL, if you click on the second button in the group on the right, the discovery view button, you can see the list in the drop down of the data sources that are available to you, which would be your BAQs and other data sources. In order to create a simple dashboard view, you will go through these steps. You'll click back on the first button, you'll see the dashboard view, showing any dashboard views you have already created. You can click the plus sign three times at the discovery level, at the new dashboard level, and the select component level to create a new dashboard with the queries that are available to you. Choose the data source from the list to base your dashboard on. Then you'll get a dashboard designer view where you can drag and drop columns and change chart types, etc can drag rows here, columns here, and you can change different chart types here. And then there's many more options that are available which are beyond this Lunch and Learn. The last step is to save your Epicor data discovery dashboard into a shared folder so others can use the dashboard as a widget. Then back in your Epicor you can add the widget to your home page as we did previously as a discovery chart view. You'll want to give your dashboard a name and a description 
and then make sure that you put it in a shared folder if you want other people to use it and then you will see your dashboard will be available for others to use in Epicor. So that concludes our presentation for today on Epicor Data Discovery. I hope you learned a few things and can get started using Epicor Data Discovery.